Okay, this is what we're making today. Bird shaped pretzels. I already have the dough. I made that yesterday. I think it's okay. I put it in the refrigerator last night because after the puff puff party, I was done. Like I didn't want to bake anymore. So we're doing it today. I'm not sure, like I said, if it's okay to put it in the refrigerator and then do it the next day. So we're gonna try anyway. Okay, so once the dough has risen, preheat the oven to 400, done that. Set out a baking sheet with lined with parchment paper. I've done that. Fill a thing with water. I'm working on that. Fill this pot with water to make your pretzels. I've got to take this stuff out of the oven, as you can see. All right, let's just... In order to boil the pretzels, we're gonna add baking soda, third of a cup. Okay, third of a cup. And that seems to be a lot of baking soda. It does say one third cup of baking soda into the water. That's crazy. That's a lot of baking soda. I mean, that's a lot, right? Okay. Yeah, that seems to be a lot of baking soda. Okay, that's there. I'm mainly interested in how these things are going to cut up. Okay, the dough is there, and now it says to punch it back down. It's punched. I just don't know. It's still a little chilly. I took it out of the refrigerator a while back. Okay, I gotta put this on simmer. Oh, my hands are all a mess. But let's see, I wanna show you what the water in the baking soda looks like. That's crazy. Okay, maybe I should stir it. First, we need to chop this into eight parts. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. We got eight things. Chop, chop. Now, let's do this. get this excess stuff out of the way you're all right well I will say that the dough itself is very cool this is very neat little dough it feels very neat it feels like I'm playing with play-doh not gonna lie all right so it says to roll it out into a rope eight ten inches long let's milk that sucker 
I think we're about 10 inches. All right. Now is where the magic happens. You roll this sucker into a knot. You tie it into a knot. As if you were making a pretzel, I assume. That's crazy. Okay. Once you get it into a knot, let me make it a little bit longer. Once you get it into a knot, roll the piece into a rope, then tie in a knot. Flatten one end of the knot into a tail. And the other one, the other piece of the thing, I believe the other is his head. Let's just leave it there. Okay, and then we're going to score this with a fork. So that is the cutest little tail you've ever seen. Okay. So the bird has a tail and it has a head. And are you supposed to add these? No, nope, that's what you do. Okay, so once it gets ready to simmer, bird number one is ready to go in. Now let's see if I can do this really quick. Just squeeze and pull. Squeeze and pull. So you get a good 10 inches of a dingle dangle. Ooh, that's pretty good. All right, then you just take it. This is the easiest thing in the world. My son loves pretzels, so we'll probably do this a lot. He's been wanting me to do it for a while. It's just one of those recipes I've never made pretzels. So it's new. Cute! Oh my gosh, we're gonna have birds. Bird pretzels on the speed dial. Ding-a-ling-a-ling-a-ling. Ding-a-ling-a-ling-a-ling. Dingle-dangle. This reminds me of that Norwegian cartoon with the super long noodle penis. I don't know if y'all heard about it. It's for children in Norwegian countries. It is a noodle man, Mr. Noodle. And his noodle is whatever, yeah, exactly what you think it is. It's his noodle. And he takes his noodle on adventures and saves children with it. That's right, folks. That is broadcasting at its finest. Alright, let's see. Oh, I think I'm going to add flour each time I do the tail from now on. These little birds is almost, bear with me, it's almost like a phoenix. That's crazy. That very long tail. Alright, getting better at squeezing them out there. Getting better at making them long. Okay. Tie it in a knot. Give it a head. I think that should be the head. Let's make this the tail this time. Doop. The cutest little bird you've ever seen. A bird. 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 Make it into another long. Squish it out a little bit. Give it some length rather than girt because you gotta knot it it's not hard it's not hard <laughs> ah, it's actually not hard at all okay get it in there twist her in a knot then you've got the tail and the head of the bird give it a little Forking action, and there you go. This is so much fun. Okay, we got three more to go. Obviously, we're almost there. Not long now. Okay. Once we get that pulled, ooh. Gotta pull it really long. This is gonna have a little bit of a chubby belly. Bird with a belly. This is a bigger, thicker one than the other ones. Oh goodness. Alright, that one's head is going to be there. And we're gonna give it the tail here. Ow. There we go. He hasn't got much of a head on that one, but he's got a big body. Big body bird. 
Oh, this is so much fun. <laughs> I actually, yes, this is so much fun. I'll just roll it out. Do, 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 okay, boing, 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 all right, so we got that out there, get her into a knot, okay, this is going to have a big tail, let's do a double tail on this one, Alright, the last one. Can't believe how easy this is. And I didn't even have to use that much excess flour. That's always a joy. It doesn't stick or anything. I really think putting the dough in the refrigerator was a huge win. Do it at night. Just let it sit in the fridge after you let it rise first. Then, in the morning, do this. Oh my gosh, this is so much fun. Okay. Last one has been knotted. There's the head. This will be the tail. Boop! Okay. Birds have been made.